said the penguin. And he did. The jetpack helped. All right, we are recording. Hey, everybody, my name is Joe. Welcome to the fourth episode of Create Together. We're telling stories about people all over the world who are coping with this strange time of pandemic and isolation by staying creative and doing it together with other people, collaborating online on all kinds of creative projects. So if you are looking for something creative to do, come jump in with us. It'll be fun. You have a good time. I promise you. In a second, we're gonna show you the second part of this three-part story about this music teacher who's collaborating with people on a music video and a song in dedication to the class of 2020. But first, I wanna show you this project that I think really shows what collaborative art making is all about, how something as small as a photograph can inspire creativity in someone else and how that someone else might then make something that inspires even more people. It, it, one little thing can cause this creative chain reaction that leads to something greater than the sum of its parts. Watch this. Hi, my name is Ghanim Dawood. I am originally from Jordan, but I live in London. I usually don't mind staying at home, but I really miss my friends and my family. I took this photograph back in 2016. I was with my mum and my younger brother in London, and we've just moved into this unfurnished flat. So the three of us were sleeping on this mattress, and it was a very intimate family moment. <laughs> we couldn't stop laughing out of exhaustion from moving. So I took my camera, and there it was. It was perfect. So I named this photograph Mixed Feelings because when I took it, I was really happy. And looking back at it now, it reminded me of what I'm missing. Hello, everybody. My name is Sasha Hudemaker. I am a composer and a producer here in Amsterdam. I used to perform at a theater six shows a week, but because of the pandemic, that has turned to zero and I had a hard time dealing with that. But these moments in our lifetime, we have to be creative and we have to reinvent yourself in a way. So after about four or five days, I found this picture and the picture was Mixed Feelings by Ranim. And I started improvising and it just came to me. In this picture, what it did so well was show my internal feeling about the pandemic so much. We feel what we feel, but then outside, so much is happening. And then suddenly, I create the mixed feelings piece from this. My name is Oriana. I'm a psychotherapist and a professional dancer. And I've tried looking for inspiration. It's been hard to keep motivated and creative. I've baked, I've done some handy slash rebuilding work and my creativity feels stuck and at the same time I'm just pushing it out however I can. This led me to stumble upon mixed feelings. As I listened to it I felt an internal struggle and at first I was completely blank. So I went to my location with my bench. <laughs> I closed my eyes and started just to listen to rhythm, musicality, also picturing where I was going to dance, what I was going to wear. But then I started thinking about what I wanted to represent. And automatically I thought about the isolation the world is living. Being creative makes me feel good in the end. So I invite you to start creating in different ways and just see what comes out.
Hi, uh, my name is Rodnisha Green. I love being able to do the dance. I love being able to step into someone else's choreography and try to figure it out and feel it out for myself. I remembered watching it and being like, whoa, okay, um, don't know if I'm that flexible, but I was like, I want to find it. I want to find it in my body. When I physically get up and do something, I feel better. And that is one of the reasons I love this project. Does dancing make you happy? Super, super happy. And is that because we have to stay home a little bit more? Yeah. So what do you want to say to all the people that like your dancing? I love you guys, all of you. After the virus, you can come out the end. <laughs> So if you've been watching our show, you'll remember Ben, the music teacher from Texas. He wanted to make something special for his students who are graduating this year, but aren't getting to celebrate the way they thought they were going to because of this pandemic. He started by writing a letter to his students and setting it to music. And that inspired other teachers all over to write letters to their students. It inspired students to talk about how they were feeling in this moment. And really it inspired all of us to just jump in and lend our support to the class of 2020. Now, the ultimate idea for the project was to take all of that and turn it into an original song and music video. And by the way, the music video is still not done, so you can come get in on this project right now. But today we're gonna focus on how the song is coming together, so here's Ben to tell you where he's at with it. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ben here. Um, just wanna give you guys a quick update on the Class of 2020 project and really where we see it going from here. I wanna talk to you about the music contributions. So first off, let me say thank you. Seeing all these contributions coming together and just watching the song transform from the little melody it was before has been amazing. And this is where we want your help and everyone can participate. Okay, I know some of us aren't comfortable with music and some of us feel like we're not inclined in that area, but these are just simple things that anyone can do and we can get everyone involved and make this project even that much better. First thing is this amazing contribution that Spaceship put together. He added this chorus line singing harmonies using just the syllable ah. Hello, my name is Spaceship. I'm a musician. When I discovered this Class of 2020 project that Ben Perez has put up, and I heard the music, just the simple chords, something, something primal in me responded to it. And I think just wanting to sing along was the, the urge that I had. And so I just sang along. I tracked maybe about 25 different layers or more, just because I love the Beach Boys. I love those harmony vocals, that style. Now, I can't sing, but I know if I had a piano with me, I would get G, F, and C. And I would be able to use that to help me sing the odds that we need. You can go ahead and do that if you want to stack your harmonies on top of each other, or if you just want to sing the single note, go for it. Good. Hi, this is Joel and Emmeline. I am a school teacher, and I know you love to sing. You sing all day. Thank you. You're on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping to ourselves. You're doing a lot of crafts. We're not going places. We can't go to the library. Yeah, that sucks. Uh... So this is my first time singing and collaborating with other people. And I saw the project, and it resonates with me as a teacher. When I go like this, it means make awe. Yeah. Ready? I feel like it was new for us to record together. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do more of it? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Another idea that's come up is a contribution by Luxie Really. Hey guys, Lexi here. I was listening to the song that was originally created by Ben Perez. I decided it would be fun to give it like an uplifting twist and I was thinking back to my high school days and what I remember the most about high school and it was definitely um, playing on the field hockey team. So I wanted to kind of infuse some kind of vibe from my field hockey days into the song. The idea of a chant popped into my head. We are 2020. We are 2020. I really hope that this song can help uplift some of the graduating members of the class of 2020, even though they didn't get to walk this year and that really sucks. We're all still thinking about them and wishing them congratulations. So one thing we want is for everyone to help us by chanting, we are 2020. 
So if you just download the music and you queue it up, you're gonna get the tempo of 104. It's about right here. And then you're gonna just chant, we are 2020. It'll go something like this. One, two, three. We are 2020. We are 2020. And if we can just get you to loop that a bunch of times, it'll sound so amazing like an entire crowd. We are 2020. We are 2020. So the fact that 15 of my own students were able to just take the time to really sit down and play some music on this project, it's the best thing I could have ever asked for. Hi, my name is Dominic White and I contribute to this project by playing a percussion beat on my guitar. I contributed it by playing on a pot and a pencil holder. I played on some face wipes and lotion. My name is Robert Guevara and Benjamin Perez was my percussion teacher for four years at Bel Air High School. When I went in as a freshman, I didn't know how to play an instrument at all, so they threw me in percussion. And Mr. Perez picked me aside and he taught me how to play the vibraphone and taught me our whole first movement just then and there. He's taught me so much, not only on the field, but in life as well. No teacher that I've had has ever really cared like he does. So thanks to all of you guys. We have these amazing instrument contributions. We have these amazing vocal contributions, harmonies, melodies, percussion. It's not done yet, but here's a little snippet of how it's all coming together. I love this project. I love everybody who is jumping in and adding their creativity. I can't wait to see how it turns out. And so we will be back with the third part of this story in our series finale to unveil the finished music video. Uh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen, that is episode four. Thank you to all of you watching. Thank you especially to all of you who are contributing your art and your ideas. Thanks to YouTube Originals. Subscribe to our channel to catch the next episode. Until then, stay safe, stay positive, stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Again, my heart.